Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is Friday, June 24th, 2016. My name is Cliff Backus, and this is your pushbuttonstocktrading.com daily video market review. Let's get started this morning with our Spectrum Analyzer. It's important that we identify where the leadership in the market is. To that end, we use HGSI, High Growth Stock Investors Spectrum Analyzer, to identify market leadership on a daily basis. We're going to do something a little bit different this morning. Let's start by looking at what sectors are showing the most strength as measured by the 100 most powerful stocks in the most powerful industry groups. The sectors showing strength yesterday were technology, energy, and consumer discretionary. Let's take a look at our industry groups. Yesterday, of the top 100 most powerful stocks in the most powerful industry groups, eight came from application software, eight from oil and gas, seven from semiconductor devices, five from medical devices, and rounding out the top five, we had lodging with four stocks in the top 100 most powerful stocks in the most powerful industry groups. These might be good places to look for leadership in this market. Let's take a look at the Russell 2000. But before we do, stocks had a strong day yesterday as markets bet against a British exit from the European Union. Oops. Stocks are poised to open sharply lower in the wake of a very broad sell-off in Europe this morning. Yesterday's advance came on heavier trading volume, giving all the indices we follow an accumulation day or a day of professional buying. Normally this would be bullish, but I suspect today is going to be anything but normal. In a feat of tremendously unfortunate timing, Investors.com changed their outlook on the market to a confirmed uptrend yesterday after the close. Our market timing model remains on a buy signal a buy signal indicates that both aggressive and conservative traders can buy, but we shouldn't be increasing margin at this point. Thursday, advancing issues topped decliners by nearly 5 to 1, a very broad advance. New highs continued to better new lows. According to our Ramosi ratio, large capitalization stocks bettered small and are now outperforming on a 10-day moving average basis. Bulls would prefer to see the small caps outperform. From a market perspective, all bets are off this morning as the market digests the fallout from yesterday's British exit vote. We'll see if the market can hold the short-term support areas that we've been watching recently. For the NASDAQ, that would be the 4678 area. For the S&P 500, that would be the 2044 range. Assuming we don't undercut those levels, this is not a good day to be making any trading decisions. Be patient. Wait to see how the market ends the day today. In the meantime, be cautious and be sure your stops are in place and current. What I want to do today is I want to talk about critical support areas in the market. We want to see the Russell 2000 hold the 1140 area. I doubt that that's going to happen. The next critical area of support is going to be down here in the 1179 range. If we were to undercut that range, that area, that would put the Russell into a intermediate term downtrend. That would be bearish and that would certainly change the way that we look at the market. Let's see what the Nasdaq composites up to. For the NASDAQ, the first critical area of support is going to be the 200-day moving average. I would imagine that we take that out pretty handily in the morning. We may close above that level, but in the morning I suspect that we take that level out. The critical level for the NASDAQ is going to be the 4678 range. A close below that would give us a double top and that would be bearish. And finally, let's take a look at the S&P 500. S&P yesterday came right up against resistance up here in the 2116 area and was turned away. Short-term support would be down here in the 2044 area. I would hope that by the close we recapture that area, 
maybe we don't even undercut it. But that would be the critical area of support for the S&P 500. A break below that area would, again, give us a double top formation. We have a high, we have a higher high, and if we were to undercut this midpoint, that would be a bearish signal, a bearish sign for the market. This is going to be an interesting day for both the bulls and the bears. The market's going to gap down fairly considerably at the open this morning. We'll see what happens the rest of the day, and we'll see if the market closes at the top of its daily trading range. And would be a sign that the bulls may be able to begin looking for opportunities here. If we were to close certainly below these critical support areas that we talked about today and at the lower end of our trading range, that would be a bearish indication and would indicate that the bears are in control of this market. That's about all I have for today. If you want to talk about any of the stocks mentioned today or any of our market strategies, please feel free to give me a call, drop me an email, or make an appointment. Come by the office, see what we're up to. Contact information is on the home page. Please take a minute to go to our subscription page and subscribe to Push Button Stock Trading. You can also follow us on Twitter at Push Button Stock. Again, my name is Cliff Backus. That's your daily video market review. Have a safe and profitable day. Keep your stops in place, and I will see you again tomorrow. Please stay tuned for our important disclaimers. All the best. Disclaimers. Push button stock trading video market review is produced and edited by Clifford B. Backus. Mr. Backus is a senior vice president of investments, technical analyst, portfolio manager, and partner with the investment firm of Ohanison Liqueurs Incorporated. Video market review is produced solely for the benefit of our clients, friends, and colleagues. Anything written, stolen, and or plagiarized in this publication is done without malice. Further, the analysis and opinions expressed in this publication are strictly those of the editor and not of Ohanison Liqueurs Incorporated, its affiliates, subsidiaries, or any of the officers or employees of Ohanison Liqueurs Inc. On that note, we submit the following. The analysis, calculations, and evaluations presented herein are based on data and assumptions Ohanison Liqueurs Incorporated believes to be accurate. Ohannis and Liqueurs Incorporated makes no representation that such analysis or calculations are accurate or that such valuations represent levels at which actual trades may occur. This report has been prepared from original sources, except where otherwise noted, and data we believe to be reliable. Ohannis and Liqueurs Inc., its affiliates and subsidiaries and or their officers and employees or their families may from time to time acquire, hold, or sell a position in the securities mentioned herein. Moreover, opinions may differ from one entity to the next. If we are used in connection with the purchase or sale of any security discussed in this report, we may act as principal for our own account or as agent for both the buyer and the seller. Push Button Stock Trading is dedicated to the education of friends, clients, and paid subscribers. Push Button Stock Trading is an information service only. The information provided herein is not to be construed as an offer to buy or sell stocks of any kind. Push Button Stock Trading is created to aid subscribers in making informed investment decisions based wholly or in part on technical analysis. It's possible that at this time or some subsequent date, the editors of Push Button Stock Trading may own, buy, or sell the investments presented. All investors should consult a qualified professional before making any investment. The information provided has been obtained from sources deemed to be reliable, but it is not guaranteed as to the accuracy or completeness. The editors of Push Button Stock Trading make every effort to provide timely information to subscribers, but cannot guarantee specific delivery times due to factors beyond our control.